Hey gamers, need to know here with a two-part video featuring Single Doubt and Ghostgrab 3000, which were provided to us by developer Matt Glanville, creator of Switch and Shoot. Both games will be available July 3rd, 2020, and until then, there's a pre-purchase discount of 10%. There's a 15% off discount for those who own Glanville's other game, Switch and Shoot. Otherwise, the game will cost $4.99 USD or your regional equivalent on the Nintendo eShop. Single Doubt is a quickfire identification game, wherein your objective is to find the galactic supercriminal based on given description and pick him out of a crowd before time runs out. Being quick and accurate nets you more points for your final score. Shooting the wrong person ends the game. Levels start out with few possible targets, but as you keep playing you'll find larger scenes with more individuals that fit the description somewhat, so you'll have to pay careful attention. It's worth noting that you can play either using the Joy-Cons or the touchscreen. In the time I spent with it, I found Singled Out to be a cute little time waster, and I got a sense of satisfaction for identifying my mark before the timer had a chance to get too low. If you're into quarter eaters and trying for the best score, it's worth checking out. You can find the link in the description, along with any pertinent information. What's up gamers, it's Nico here, and it's my turn. Ghost Grabber 3000 is an arcade bullet hill game by Matt Glanville. There's a neat twist though, in that you have the ability to chain together ghosts with your energy beam and destroy them all at once. You have a couple menus that depict how to play the game, the achievements, choosing a level, and various upgrades to your robot that you bring with you each run. Customizing your robot with over 100 combinations of battery power, hit points, speed, and more is sure to get the job done. The point of the game is simple. Using a grapple beam, you grab ghosts and link them together to form a chain and then destroy them all at once while avoiding the bullet hell. The more you link, the better your score multiplier, and destroying them might yield some energy you can replenish. With each level lasting just a couple of minutes, this is a great game to pick up on a lunch break or just to pass the time. The EMP shockwave was probably my favorite way to get out of a sticky situation. The game is easy to pick up, but once you progress, it'll definitely get more difficult. You have various items at your disposal to use against the ghosts, such as EMP shockwaves, rocket boosting to safety, or if all else fails, the nuke. There are also three difficulty modes, with each more challenging than the last. The game is definitely a blast, but it'll keep you on your toes, so be sure to pick these games up when they drop the 3rd of July, like Don mentioned earlier, and give them a try. This has been Don and Nico from Need to Know. Stay in the know, gamers.